What is up YouTube? How's it going? Really excited. Just got a ding on my phone that our seeds arrived. So came out here to the receiving area. Sure enough, they're here. We're going to take them inside the barn right now. Open them up. Check out what's inside. We've got some weeds to knock out in the high tunnel before we can plant these. We're going to do that today. It's really exciting time on the farm. We're finally getting vegetables in the ground. So stick around. We've got some great content coming up in the next few days. And don't forget, if you believe in small farms, if you like organic farming, please subscribe, smash the thumbs up button. It really helps us out. Can't wait to show you everything. <laughs> Sponsor us, but if they want to, you know. Johnny Seed. Johnny Seeds. Our preferred seed. Well, as you can see behind me, I went ahead and I laid out all of our seeds, kind of categorized them. So tomorrow morning when we walk in here, it's really easy to find what we need and get started. Um, We've got carrots over here. All of this is radish. We've got beans, lettuce, specialty greens, a bunch more fun stuff over here. Tomatoes, peppers, all sorts of stuff. In the back, we've got the cover crops. They're all going to get planted in the next few weeks, and I can't wait. This is such a fun time in the year. We're going to be teaching new people how to plant seeds on the farm. That's really exciting. People that have never done it before. We've got Jess, who's coming back from last year. Let's go take a look at those weeds in the greenhouse, like I was saying. See if we can't knock those out. So, we're going to take these over to the greenhouse, get those weeds taken care of. These are the two that I use most here on the farm, so I'll explain why. Let's get over there. So this one right here, it's kind of like this Chinese style hoe. I love this thing. I use it probably most on the farm. It's great for bigger weeds and just random tasks. Um, I'll use it a lot today to kind of chop up and get through some of the big stuff. And then in my other hand here, I've got this one, which we kind of customized. So we've got the stirrup or oscillating hoe on this side. Sanded the handle down to another tip and we put this half collinear hoe on here. It's great to take this out into the field because if you're working in your row, you can use this side. If you need to grab something a little bigger out of the pathway or you want to do some other work, you've got this with you. I really like it. It was simple to make. Um, I know there are some out there where you can change the heads out and we have one. I'm not a huge fan. I just, for some reason, it's, you know, it's not for me. I prefer this style where you just flip it over. Maybe for some they don't like it, but for me, it works really well. It's really efficient to have on me. I don't have to have all these separate heads on a tool belt kind of thing. That gets a little annoying. So we're going to knock out the weeds in here. As you can see, they're kind of growing up around the edges. So we're going to get that taken care of. One thing we need to do first is roll these sides down. I need to take this off. It's like 100 degrees in here. It's scorching. It's, it's hot. It's like some fire sauce up in here. Well, the postman just showed up at the door, so I'm going to see what he delivered. I need a drink of water, plus the blade on that's getting a little dull. So we're going to grab a file, sharpen it up a little bit. We've got some we big weeds coming up, so want something a little bit sharper to get through them. But, but say hi to Susie.
one of the best parts of working at home, family's always around. Now, it's an absolute embarrassing mess in here, but we do, I can usually find everything like this box. It's got all the files. So we've got this to go work on that blade. Again, I need some water, so I'm gonna grab that. And where did Mr. Postman put that stuff? Usually they put it kind of under this little, hey, 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 Mr. Postman. Maybe Susie got it already? There's no way. I don't know, we'll find it. Susie did already have it and a little grandma care package. All right, well, we're back. I've got 100 feet to go behind me, and then this will be cleared out. While I'm working on that, I've got this beautiful blue sky to look at behind me on this gorgeous April 20th afternoon. I think after we're done with this, Susie and I are gonna go to Costco and pick up some vital farm equipment. I did want to take a second real quick to show just how well this thing works. Not only does it chop the plant, but if you hit it just, if you hit it right, you can often get quite a bit of the roots. So I've got my last little patch down here to do. Um, I'm gonna put the camera down. So here you see this weed. What you're gonna to try to do with this hoe is hit right here, pull up, and we should be able to get most of the roots. So I'm gonna stand up. kind of missed but still got a lot. As I was walking past the car we were about to take to Costco, I noticed that we have a very flat tire. So I've got the air compressor here with me. We're gonna go out, fill up the tire, see if we can't find where the hole is and fix it. So not it. only do we get a secret bonus Costco trip, but we found out that this tire, well that's obviously not good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a quick tutorial on how to diagnose what's going on and hopefully fix it. I drove this a couple days ago and it was just fine. So it's a slow leak somewhere. Hopefully I, I find a little hole somewhere. Hopefully not in a sidewall or too close to the edge here. Hopefully we have it more in the middle of this tread and we can go ahead, put a plug in it and get on with our day. But first, let's try to find the hole. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is what I did here and that's pull your car to a flat area to make it easier to work and just a little bit safer. The second thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna take this spray here, I'm gonna spray it onto the tire and see if I can find any bubbles. So let's get to it. So you just wanna spray, ooh, it's a little windy in there. Try to get it all over if you can. Obviously don't be, no need to be stingy with it. And just cover. Yeah. What? Okay. You just want to get it all over as much as you can. I know we can't get it on the bottom, but hopefully we find the hole. Well, it looks like we got a helper that just showed up. So we got this all sprayed down, 
as you can see, it's nice and bubbly. Now, as I look around the tire, I don't see anywhere that's making like a big bubble. You'll usually see it, you know, blow up a big bubble and that's kind of where the hole's at. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get back in the car, I'm gonna move it a little bit so we can check the underside of the tire and uh, go from there. All right, so let's go ahead and apply some more spray here. <laughs> now usually by now, you'll find a bubble and that'll be the source of your leak. Unfortunately, I still can't find one. Bubble, yes, honey. Oh, bubble, yeah. As she knows, Usually by now, you'll find a bubble. Unfortunately, I'm not finding one. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna crawl under the car, see maybe if it's on the inside wall here. Let's hope not, cause that's gonna be a pain in the butt. Um, if not, if we don't find anything, I'm just gonna put some air in it. We'll drive to Costco, check it periodically along the way, and go from there. Well, after eating some of this, I can say it's pretty tasty stuff. Um, I'm not finding a hole, so we're just gonna air it up, drive to Costco, and see how it turns out. Time to get that farm equipment. I don't think I want that on there. You don't? I don't think I want that on there. You have it on your phone? Yeah. So it looks better. Yeah, maybe. I didn't think I would. I thought it was gonna be too big. What do you think? Are these the band-aids for us? So we went to Costco in the hopes of coming back with a new laptop. Unfortunately, they didn't have the one we wanted, so we have to wait for another day. Um, 
wait for a video though. We are gonna come out with a video of all the, the electronic tools it takes to run a modern small farm. It's a lot more than just farming now. You have to have social media presence. You have to have nice cameras. We do our own website, online ordering. We have to edit, we have to run the Adobe software to make new logos and new signs. So there's a lot of behind the scenes tools you need to make a small farm run profitably. So we're gonna make a video about that in the next week or so, kind of outlining some of those things that maybe you don't need, but definitely make having a small farm a little more enjoyable and a little more profitable. Well, until next time, thanks.